Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Nearly two years after a catastrophic wildfire tore through the village of Lytton, destroying everything in its path, people who were displaced are becoming increasingly frustrated because rebuilding still hasn't begun. CTV's Michelle Brunaro has the latest on what's causing the delays. My house was right there, and this is a perfect view I had out here. There is only dirt where Dean Adams once had a home. The view, remnants of a former village. There's a lot of people that are really frustrated. Me, I'm more depressed than anything because nothing is happening. It's been almost two years since a wildfire destroyed most of Lytton, and residents still have no idea when they can return. We have to get things going and people back into their homes. This was lit and shortly after the fire. The debris is now gone, but progress is slow. Now it's a standstill down there. There's nothing going on to him like it. Buster Adams didn't lose his home, but is one of many who lost their community. What we had was so beautiful. We don't know how much it hurts to see it all gone. Now there's nothing here. The province has committed more than $50 million to Lytton's recovery. The feds about $77 million, and yet not a single building permit has been issued so far. I think it is, it's all politics got dumped in this little town. People have asked, why does Monty Lake, why did they just get to go rebuild? Why does a, a building in, in downtown Vancouver burn down and then they get cleaned up and started rebuilding again right away? The mayor and council are looking for answers and no soil remediation is one of the issues slowing things down. There's tests going on and then um, for soil removed from properties. Apparently some properties have finished that process, um, others it's still ongoing. They're also waiting for the results of mandatory archaeological assessments done by the province. Heard that there are some that are fairly clear, um, but we don't know until we get that information from the archaeology branch. As they wait, the village held a symposium to support displaced families. To find what's out there, what's available, who's available, and at the same time to provide information. What they really want to know is when rebuilding will finally begin. I don't know the answer, but I would hope this summer. A hope shared by those still waiting to come home. Michelle Brunoro, CTV News, Lytton.